Hello, this is the end of day two. And I don't think my face looks much different than it did yesterday. There is still a quite a bit of um, stippling or what looks like broken capillaries, but it's not. Um, some are even quite bad, like on my nose, it's actually looks like a really bad scratch, cat scratch or cat bite. Um, there is less redness overall than what was happening yesterday, but I still think that there isn't a big change. The texture of the skin feels very similar to what it did before the treatment. There is no pain and hardly any dryness. I did get out today for a walk, even though you're supposed to avoid exercise that would make you very flushed or hot or within your blood. So I took a brisk walk today with a lot of sunscreen on and a hood to keep the sun off my face. Um, and that went fine. I wasn't overheated and didn't have any irritation. I also took a shower because I desperately needed to wash my hair and I had no trouble at all. Although I did keep the water cooler than I normally do just to avoid it getting too hot. Um, but it wasn't raw or uncomfortable or hot in any way. It was completely fine. Um, what I have noticed today, which I think is surprising, is that I feel like I'm bruised in my hairline all the way around, like there's a deep bruise and underneath my chin and my, my lymph nodes are swollen, which the device was nowhere near any of those locations. So I think that's probably a response to toxins flushing the system, um, just trauma to the skin, that's my best guess. And I've been drinking a ton of water to try and continue to flush that out and it's completely bearable and probably going to be gone in the next day or two. But that was very unexpected and unusual feeling. Um, this evening, I washed my skin with a gentle cleanser. I did apply my 1% retinol cream, which you can do after 24 hours of the procedure. And I followed it up with a the serum that was provided, the moisturizer, and then I added my overnight hydrating mask from Paula's Choice because I absolutely love that product. It is like your skin um, swimming in moisture and it wakes up very, very moisturized. But other than that, it, besides how it looks, it has been completely unremarkable experience so far. I will say that the congestion or the little pimples that I was noticing coming up on my chin last night are definitely congestion coming to the surface um, and not weeping. I have seen even a few more in areas that I'm typically very like deep closed comedones that I've had for a long time. Um, so that's exciting because I did not expect to see those kind of um, improvements in such a quick time. So I'm kind of excited about that even though it's kind of frustrating to have a major treatment and then have more acne or more visible acne than when you started. But I know that that is temporary and will go away. So I'm going to bed to get a good night's sleep. Gonna to continue to drink a ton of water. And um, tomorrow I will be preparing for a trip to Maryland um, from Oregon for work and so I'm hoping that some of this other redness goes away and I can wear some makeup on Monday which is in two days when I leave for my trip. Have a good night!